freedom is sexy. JustIncredible.tv Okay, everyone. I am inside the new motorhome. I'm going to give you a bit of an interior tour only because it is dark outside already. I was too busy today and uh, it is also pouring rain out. So I'll show you all the outside later. So let's start at the door area. The door is awesome. It's a solid, solid door. I've had some Class C's with pretty flimsy doors and it has the dual lock system, two deadbolts in there. and the screen door of course separately and it has the electric step as well so when the door opens the steps pop out for you it's quite awesome um, there's that lots of hooks place to hang clothes the closet is huge I'm still unpacking so forgive the mess I still haven't even got all my stuff in from Dora yet um, there's the cat area right there it's perfect for food water scratching post a little garbage can these are great, these scratching posts. You just sit there, they have rubber on the top and bottom and lean it up against the wall and cats love to scratch those. All right, a uh, monitor panel right there with a 4,000 watt built-in generator. It is only got now 69 hours on it. It had 65 when I bought it. So, you know, it's basically brand new. Uh, there's the water heater, there's the level monitor, there's the water pump, simple as that. Here is, of course, <laughs> I'm used to grabbing the handle from my old one, right? The microwave, the three burner stove, and the coveted oven, which I'm going to make a lot of use of. Uh, the kitchen is a double sink. Uh, it has an awesome handle, I love it. For the water, hot and cold water on demand. It even has a little knife holder there, spice racks, tons and tons of storage. It's full of junk and craft dinner and uh, yes and the double door fridge with the big freezer I still have to go and do some more shopping all I've got is a few steaks in there and some beers and some water uh, but it's a very nice size fridge and the freezer got some pizza in there and stuff like that works awesome it was cold within a few hours it was freezing cold in there and here we have the living area slash bed area and as you guys know uh, I am I like uh, beds that are permanent and don't get in the way of day-to-day -day living and with most class B's van conversions if you have the front bed set up you usually have to push it in every morning or you have to climb over it to get to the kitchen in the back and the bathroom it is not the case with types like this uh, I'm using this side here hi Emmy as the permanent bed uh, it's up right now just because I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, moving in with stuff but it will be pretty much pulled out permanently 24 7 and you can still walk right through to the cab no problem and that is one of the things I look for when I was looking for a new motor home is to make sure I can access the front cab with the bed made out it doesn't matter which side you decide to make uh, to pull out yeah you can still walk through comfortably so um, am I gonna keep both couches not sure yet it is damn nice to have the couches I tell you and these are real couches not RV couches if you get my drift they're not just a piece of plywood with foam on top they're they're residential style so they're very comfortable however this one is probably coming out not because of the space there's there's plenty of space even when the beds made up but because I want to make this more into a living room it already feels like a, a mini apartment a residential feel to it but I'm gonna make it even more so so stand by and you'll see what I'm gonna do with this side of the vehicle this will be the permanent bed over here and as you can see I've done a lot of shopping today I went and got a second battery gonna get that installed along with a 1000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter along with a smart TV a sound bar with subwoofer and a blu-ray player because I'm getting rid of this thing uh, they did just put in this new little TV but it's just it's too small uh, I don't like little TVs I actually measured this and I could fit a 50 inch up here and I was this close to buying the 50 inch but uh, I decided to settle on the 32 inch the 32 inch will fit in this section from this door, this door's coming off. From there, across to the current opening here will fit perfectly. So we're gonna cut the wood up there so it's a larger opening to fit the 32 inch TV and I will still have access to this cabinet as well. There's lots of storage in these cabinets. So uh, I'll have some, you know movies or whatever, Blu-rays in there. Of course the Blu-ray player is gonna go in there. More storage there. 
and this again will be one giant TV and the sound bar will probably be on the shelf below it or, or mounted to the ceiling. We are going to fill in this wall here. It will be a permanent closed wall with a sliding door in the middle to, to access the cab exactly like cube vans. Like all work cube vans have one of those uh, and that way it's a permanent partition. So I'm, I'm excited for that actually. I don't want to be putting up a curtain every night and uh, I like the security and the feel of it to have a real wall up in front of you. I just I, I've always wanted to do that when I the next I said if I got another Class C uh, that I would do that and so I'm gonna make it happen for this one for sure. Uh, the vehicle is 21 feet so it is no longer than Dora and like I said many times I was not going to get one longer than Dora. Uh, 21 feet or 20 feet even. I found lots of Class C's at the 20 foot mark but they all had the big overhead bed and I do not want the overhead bed. All the Class C's I've had in the past I almost never use the bed up top. They are just big uh, drags on the highway with wind resistance and gas mileage and uh, I mean in reality the cat slept up there most of the time. My old cat and uh, not me. I like this much better. It looks sleeker on the outside and it, I like having the entertainment center up there. And so this is 21 feet uh, and it is definitely more room than I need. It's nice and wide. It is all nice hardwood, maple. It's just gorgeous woodwork in here. So no, I'm not going to change that. What I am going to change is this crap. This has got to go. These valances, love them or hate them, <laughs> they're coming out. I'm probably going to do uh, whatever we build the wall with here. It's going to be a hardwood and we're going to make it match the rest of the wood in here. Probably tongue and groove all the way along. We're probably going to do the valances to match the wall here so we have good contrast. I like things to match as you guys know so it all looks factory and uh, hide all the wiring as well. Lots to do as far as solar and electricity. You guys will see that in future videos but right now I'm just moving in. I just got all this stuff in here and I've got about 75% of my belongings in now. The rest of it is sitting in my friend's place which I'm parked in front of right now. So I'm bringing everything in box by box, bag by bag and putting it away into its permanent place uh, before I get the next bag and do the same thing. But I'm busy working as you guys know full time five days a week so I don't have much time to do this stuff. And there's Bandit, my old kitty from my old Class C. So he's got a permanent spot here with me as well. Next the washroom. All right, so there's the lights there. There's actually a light in the shower as well. It's actually funny enough it's out here and it's a standard RV exterior porch light they put in here which makes sense because it's waterproof, right? The shower, skylight too, the shower is incredible. I've showered in the last few days now. Um, the dealer put on a new uh, high pressure massage shower head. It is unbelievable. I love showering in this thing. And of course your standard flush toilet, your sink. Uh, it even has a holding tank heater so if I went to a really cold climate uh, that would come in handy. Um, I don't think I'll ever need to use it around here in Vancouver but if I go up to the ski hills and stuff that is going to be handy to have. Medicine cabinet, lots of storage under the sink as well. So yes, all in all, a very nice sized bathroom. And there's Emmy. Emmy is getting addicted to jumping and sleeping into the in the shower stall. When I had an old Class C, my old cat used to do that too, because um, there is a furnace duct that actually comes underneath underneath the shower and blows warm air in the washroom. So it actually warms up the basin of the shower. So cats love to sleep on that, of course, when it's nice and warm. So that's the bathroom. Oh, and I forgot to mention the built-in um, AC and furnace. Right now it's on furnace and it just kicked on actually so that it's heating the place up nicely. It works beautifully. Of course, very, very, very uh, uh, high BTUs compared to what I had in the other van. I'm going to turn that off now. And you see you can actually switch to, oh, is that focusing? You can actually switch to the AC with the same thing. So if I switch to cool, the AC turns on. The AC is ducted through the ceiling and it's not cheaply done. It's done with metal ducts. Like they actually put metal um, uh, tubing in here so the AC blows out in six places all the way around the motorhome. Nice cool air. And um, because of the metal frame ducting in here, I'm not going to be able to cut this roof open and put a big, big skylight. Like That was my original plan, but then when I saw how this was built, I was like, oh no, no, we're not going to screw around with that. I'm probably going to put a fantastic fan right here though, I'll tell you that much. 
nice and nice and uh, flush too. I like the way this is designed with that AC. And I like how it's got a central uh, control panel for both cool and warm. Very, very, very nice. And of course, got the wind-up antenna there for the TV. Built-in speakers. Those speakers are connected, of course, to the cab stereo up front, uh, which I'm going to be upgrading in short order as well. So, this is my new home, everyone. It's going to take me a while to move everything in, get everything hooked up. Uh, next time you see it, chances are it'll probably look a little different. Oh, and one of the other requirements uh, I had when shopping for an RV was to, uh, you know, I, I've, I've often complained about a lot of trailers and Class C's and uh, even some Class A's with their popsicle stick and tin construction. They use like one by ones and little pieces of wood stapled together for construction, and that's just not going to fly with me. Um, these these ones are uh, built with steel tube flooring and aluminum tube frames for the entire structure all the way around. So the walls are not popsicle stick construction. So that's a huge bonus. It's actually built a lot the way, uh, it's actually built almost the same as my old ambulance was for you long time viewers that remember I had that ambulance with the aluminum roll bars basically, cage. So um, it's very well built, so I'm quite happy with that. And the size, you can't, you can't beat it. I can still fit into the same parking spots I could with Dora, so thumbs up. As far as stealth goes, it looks just as stealth as Dora, um, except for the RV stuff on it. If I don't have to worry about it in places I parked, and usually with a newer vehicle like this, nobody complains anyways, but if I went somewhere where stealth was an issue, all you gotta do is vinyl the windows over, because the big black RV windows give it away, right? Put some white vinyl on it, even that perforated stuff so you can see outside. Take off the, the, the lettering on the outside and the stripes, and then it looks just like your average everyday cube van, which are everywhere. And then you're, you're pretty soft. I've seen a lot of them done up like that, actually. I mean, I know they live in it, but the average still doesn't, you know. So you can definitely stealth one of these out pretty damn easily. So there you go, guys. 21 feet. Uh, it is a Ford, and it's a V10. Rock solid chassis the v10s are fantastic my mileage is going to drop down a little bit from door of course but you know the trade-off is you know what you're looking at here um, there you go i think that answers all the basics that you're probably uh wondering in the back of your head right now and uh as far as the outside goes i'm going to give you guys a rundown of that um when i get some time when i'm not working and it's not dark outside i'll do it during the day and then i'll show you all the bells and whistles it has outside as well all right keep on rocking the free world everyone Pick up your Keep on Rockin' in the Free World sticker now or choose from some of the others over on my site at justincredible.net. Keep on rockin'.